Hey there everyone and welcome back to Real Living and welcome if you're new. My name's Ashley and this week's video we have some indoor and outdoor cleaning. I'm taking care of the car which definitely needed to be done. So come along with me and let's get motivated and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So we are starting off outside with a much needed car clean. I haven't cleaned my car in quite a little bit so it definitely needed to get done. And to start it off I wanted to get this little tent up to kind of help with the sunshine because that sun beating down on me while I'm inside of a black car is absolutely insane. It gets so hot. So this thing was actually really easy to put up by myself. Usually I have Joe helping me, but it was really easy by myself. The biggest thing for me is just kind of the back and forth, trying to wiggle it right into the right spot. Usually Joe will be on one side, I'll be on the other, and it's really easy to put it in place. But since it was just me, I kind of had to go back and forth. That way I didn't get it too close to the car or accidentally scratch it or get a leg caught or anything like that. So once that was up, I went into the car and made sure that the very first thing that I did was I took the air compressor and I blew out all of the cracks and crevices of the car that I knew that either my rag or the vacuum was not going to get into. I made sure to get into there with the air hose and blow everything out. And then I went back to start getting everything nice and cleaned and wiped down. So in my spray bottle, I just have some uh, Mrs. Myers all-purpose cleaner. Um, I think that this stuff works really, really well when it comes to cleaning up all the dirt and stuff like that. But it also doesn't leave any type of residue and it doesn't stain any of my leather or the cloth seats that are in my car. But I did want to take a little second and totally off topic... I apologize for my appearance. I mean, I know I don't really apologize because, you know, it is a very, very hot day when I was doing this. But the the sun and the heat and the humidity just completely made my hair so crazy. I was so hot. I usually do not like to wear shorts because I am very self-conscious about my body, my legs, all of that. I don't like to show too much skin and I know that shorts are not a big deal, but I have a lot of self-confidence issues. So, um, yeah, it's not something that y'all would usually see me in shorts and a tank top and stuff like that. But here in Florida, it is awful, awfully, horribly hot. And I know that a lot of other states are dealing with this. A lot of places around the world are dealing with this. So I know that a ton of you guys can relate to just how awful the heat and humidity can be for your hair, but it can also just be excruciating to be out in it. And then on top of that, being inside of a black car that has black interior, it's like a little mini oven. So thankfully, the tent that was above the car definitely did help to kind of keep it a little bit cooler because the sun wasn't beating directly on the car. But yeah, um, <laughs> my appearance in this one is definitely not up to the standards that I normally have. But, you know, sometimes you got to make sacrifices and you got to be comfortable when you're cleaning. So this is definitely a comfortable outfit. And I really didn't care about my hair. So <laughs> if anybody does want to comment on that, I totally get it. I understand. And I'm here for it. So 
just to let you know, it was miserable this day, and I was so glad to get this car done. But anyways, after I got done with all of the wiping down and everything like that, I went with the shop vac and I started vacuuming the seats and then the carpet. Now honestly, the camera does not give a lot of justice to just how much dirt really was on the floor, but it does give you a little bit of a representation. It wasn't too bad, but it was definitely well overdue to be taken care of. Closer to heaven Once I finished on the inside of the car, getting everything wiped down, getting everything vacuumed and all of that, I started working on the jams, the door jams and then the jam around the trunk area. The trunk area was definitely the worst one um, because it, it just catches everything and there was also a spider web in there and everything else so it definitely needed to get done. I try to do this before I wash the car. Sometimes I'll do it after, but I kind of prefer to do it beforehand just because I don't want to have to go back and forth with opening the doors and then getting the door jams and risk getting fingerprints on the car because this paint is so shiny that even one little fingerprint is going to show up. So I try to get it done before I start washing the car and I went and got the trunk done and then both of the doors as well. Once the inside was 100% done after getting the windows cleaned and the door jams and everything else, I filled up the bucket with some water and some soap 
and I set up my little mini electric pressure washer. This thing is another thing that is super, super easy to use, and it's really easy to set up. Um, honestly, I prefer to use uh, the little one when it's just me, but if Joe is here, I always have him bring out the big pressure washer, and he'll uh, hook that one up and get it cranked and everything else, but the big one is a gas-powered one. For me, it's a little bit more complicated. I don't really like messing with that stuff. I leave that for him. But for the electric one, all I have to do is uh, attach the water hose, plug it in, make sure the, um, the water gun is attached to the hose and the hose is attached to the machine, turn it on, and you're good to go. So there's really no worrying about any kind of fluids or uh, anything like that. So it's very simple, connect and go. And I love using this thing. It's definitely super easy and it's very, very, it's kid friendly too because it's not uh, as strong as a big pressure washer. Obviously, you don't wanna put your hands anywhere near the water that comes out because it is under pressure and it can d definitely still do some damage. But if you are using it, it is definitely super, super easy. It doesn't have any real recoil or anything like that. Some of the big pressure washers can be a little bit more intimidating to use. So I do recommend that if you've never used a pressure washer before to get something small like this. It is super easy and it works really well. Um, the bigger jobs that we do, we always use the big gas powered pressure washer just because it has a lot more power to it. It's got a lot more strength in the water that comes out. But when it comes to just washing a car, this thing is perfect for it. So it was super easy. Uh, all I did was put it together, started washing the car top to bottom. And then the very last thing that I got to was the uh, wheels and rims on the car and after that, I started drying her. Once I got the last rim done, uh, rinsed it off and all of that, I took the chamois and I went ahead and dried the car. Now I always, always, always dry the vehicles after uh, I wash them unless it is about to rain. Sometimes I will get a vehicle done and it will rain shortly after. And those are times where I don't really find it too necessary because it's about to get wet again. But I needed to get it dry so that there were no water spots or anything like that because, like I said before, this paint job shows everything. It is so shiny that it shows all of the little water spots, fingerprints, everything. So I wanted to make sure I got it nice and dry. And then, thankfully, I was done before the hottest part of the day. So I was able to put everything up and just finish off my day relaxing and kind of recuperating from the heat of the day and doing all of that work.
be my referee I will be alright Never cut it bite But somehow you make me change Like I'm better This car was literally the best birthday present ever. I so love this car. I am obsessed with this car. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think and tell me what is your favorite car? What is your dream car? If you could have any car in the world, what would it be? This one is mine so that you all know, but I would love to know what yours is. So the next day after I got the car cleaned, I started cleaning the living room. There were a few things that I needed to get done in here, and I know that it's only the car in the living room that I was able to get into this video this week, but uh, taking care of that car, there was just so much involved in it. I thought that it would be really good for that to be the main focus of this video. But cleaning the living room, I definitely had a few things that I needed to take care of. Uh, starting off by getting all of these towels um, folded and put away so that I had cleaning towels. Usually I will wait until I get a good load because they are kind of smaller towels. So I will wait until I have a good size load of towels and then I will wash them. And sometimes I have to wait until like um because i cleaned the car i went ahead and washed all of the rags that i used to clean the car as well so it all kind of went into one and then i needed to fold them all and put them away before moving on to cleaning the rest of the living room For me, it's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me, wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy, we'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system, my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it
after getting all of the towels folded and put away, I needed to get my couch and my chair um, put back together. Uh, all of the pillows and the blankets and everything just kind of got disheveled because uh, this is the most used room in the house, especially by the dogs. <laughs> so they are always on the couch or on the chair and so the pillows always get tossed around the blankets always get pulled down and everything else so i needed to get that put back together and then i was able to move on to uh giving everything a good little quick wipe down kind of um getting rid of some of the dust that has built up there wasn't really too much so i didn't like take everything off the shelves or anything like that but I did make sure to give everything a good little wipe down and make sure to keep the dust down to a minimum Once I dusted everything down and the couch was put back together and the chair was put back together, I went ahead and moved the table and then sprinkled some of the carpet refresh. Um, I only use the carpet refresh basically just for the smell of it. Um, I don't really use it for any other purpose. I know it, it's supposed to kind of help everything, but I don't really see too much of a benefit other than it makes my carpet smell really good. So. Um, I went ahead and sprinkled that down and then gave the carpet a good vacuum and then moved on to vacuuming and mopping the rest of the floor.
into the hallway. Um, this was just super simple, just a vacuum and a mop. Um, kind of the, pretty much the general thing that I would do in the hallway. I do, um, uh, dust and, um, wipe down the baseboards and the chair moldings every couple of weeks or whatever. But for the most part, I only really have to worry about the floors. So I just gave the little rug in there a quick vacuum, vacuumed up all the extra dog hair and the dust that was built up on the floor and then gave it a good mop as well. Working in the den area was another area that really wasn't too bad. Um, it is a high traffic area, so again, I usually just focus on the floors, but I had to get that window cleaned. Uh, the sliding glass door always just is full of fingerprints, dog prints, and nose prints from the dogs, so it definitely needed to be cleaned, but as soon as I got that done, I was able to uh, vacuum and mop the entryway area and get it all nice and clean and put back together. I love the way my floors go from kind of dull in the before uh, shots. They're kind of dull and dingy, and then when I do my after shots, they're nice and shiny, and my floors are fully dry when I do my after shots. So I love the fact that they do kind of have that little bit of a glow after they're cleaned. It looks so nice, and it feels so good on my bare feet. You'll be mine, won't you be mine? At the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the video. Uh, again, let me know what kind of favorite car you have, what you think of my car. I'm all about talking about all of that stuff. I love talking and engaging with you guys. So drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, hit that notification bell and that subscribe button so that you never miss a video. And I will see you all next week. Thank you again so much for watching.